Every business or website needs a logo. Now, unfortunately, when starting out, not everyone can afford a professional looking one. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can get your own professional looking logo for free. And these logos look great as well. So here are a couple of examples. All of these logos have been produced using the tool that I'm gonna show you today. Here's a logo for a restaurant business. Here's one for gyms or personal trainers, clothing brands, and even a barbershop. Whatever your business is, if you're looking to get yourself a professional looking free logo, then I recommend you stick around. What's up guys, Tristan Parker here, and I am committed to helping you up your website design game and also your business. Today, I'm showing you step-by-step step how you can create your own professional looking logo for your business, and we're doing this completely free. In fact, the logo that we're creating today is this one and you can follow along step by step or you can create one for your own and I will show you how to export it. I'd love to hear what logos you guys are creating so just drop me a comment down below and let me know. Now, we don't need any fancy software for this step by step tutorial. That is the beauty of it, it is completely free. All you need is a browser and an internet connection and let's just dive straight in. Okay, cool, so I have my browser open here. And you can use any browser that you want, whether it's Safari, Internet Explorer, or Chrome. Now, I believe that you do get the best results from Chrome, so that's what we're gonna be using today. But in order to start creating our logo, we just need to head up to the top of our bar here and just put in Logo Maker. And just note that it's Maker without the E between the K and the R. Just wait for that to load. Cool. So we don't need to watch this because I'm just gonna run you through quickly how to go about producing a logo. Now you'll notice that this pop-up here is telling us that there's loads of graphics that are available and if I just click this grid here, you can see that there are loads of icons that you can use for your logos. So let's close that. This is our canvas and here we've got text, we've got shapes and also we've got a paint bucket to add color to our design. So today we're gonna to be producing a logo for an outdoor clothing company. The first thing I wanna do is add a graphic. So head up to the top here, and I'm just gonna search for mountain. And you'll see that we are given a huge, huge list of mountains. So I'm just gonna scroll down. There is one that I've seen that I want to use. So I just need to identify that one. Here we go. So click it and it will add it to your canvas. And once it's added, you can you, know, you can rotate it if you like. You can change the size of it, all sorts. So that's great. Now I wanna change the color of this. So make sure that you have your icon selected and head up to the color wheel. And you can just click and drag anywhere around. I want to change it for a sort of slaty blue. So if we highlight the blue and then within the box, we can change that as well. So. Cool, that'll do, that looks good to me. Now we need to add some text. So if we just click off the logo, just click anywhere on the canvas, head over to text, and just clicking it, it's gonna add some text to our canvas. And again, we can change the size of this. You can rotate it if you want. And if you just hover over the edge, you can just click and drag it anywhere that you want. So double click, get inside, and put your logo name in. So we're just gonna start with adventure. Now, again, you can change the color just by highlighting the text and using our color wheel. But what you might wanna do is double click your logo and grab the hex code for that, just to make sure that it's consistent. And paste, like so. Now, another cool thing with this program is we have a ton of fonts available to us to just make our logo look a little bit more interesting. So if we have our text selected, you'll see that we now have these two font options. So we have a font category, so you can choose you know, the type of font that you wanna use, whether it's 3D, decorative, designer, and then depending on which one of these you select, you'll be granted a bunch of different fonts that fall within that category. So I'm gonna go with handwriting and the one that I'm looking for is Rock Salt. So let's click that. So already it looks kind of cool. Suits the, the logo at the top, very similar style. And I'm just gonna click and drag and make that bigger, like so. Cool, so that's looking all right. 
Next, I want to add more text. Now, you can either copy this and paste it, or you can just click the text to add more text, and it's just going to add some default text again. So, if there's anything that you want to delete, just click it and right click, and let's click delete, like so. Now, I want to double click in here, and we are just going to go with clothing. Now, I've written this in capitals deliberately. We're going to highlight the text, and I'm going to go for something a little bit more simplistic. So, designer picks, and let's just go with Anton. So this time I want this to be a lot smaller. And again, you can just click and drag, like so. So already you can see the logo taking shape, which looks great. And what I want to do now is just click. Oh, so if you need to undo anything, you can just press like Command and Z or Control Z if you're on a PC, and it will just start undoing things. So next I want to just change the color of this, and I'm going to go with something. You know, gray dark gray just to sort of add some color separation there so again still really simplistic so this tool is super useful i do recommend that you go and have a play around with it you can add things like shapes just by clicking it and it's going to start adding shape like elements to your canvas so you can essentially create anything that you you want so just delete those and if you click on any element within your canvas, you will get given a bunch of options just by right clicking. So you can flip things if you wanted to. Again, I'm gonna undo that by Control Z. And essentially that's it guys. You have the tools here to create any logo that you want. You've got the text, you've got a ton of icons, you've got colors, and you've also got some extra tools here if you want to amend the opacity of everything. So if I just click that and drop the opacity, you'll notice that it starts fading. And you have your layers panel here if you wanted to individually select the layers within your artboard. Now that we've got our logo finished, we need to export it. And we can just head up to our little save disk here to click save. Now it's going to give you an option to download a high resolution version of the logo for $19. Now I do recommend that if you are using this to create your logo and you need to use it on uh, higher print media like t-shirts or banners or things like that or if you just generally want a high resolution version but for now we're just going to click no thanks and we can download the lower resolution file of this logo for absolutely free and you can easily use this on your website cool so you can see that it's downloaded let's just check that out cool and there's our logo it is not the highest resolution but it's got a transparent background so you can overlay it on any colors that you want and you can use it on your website nice and easily. So there you go guys, hopefully you found that really useful. Now just to recap, you have created your own logo for free using the Logo Maker software in the browser and I've shown you how to export it so you can use it on your website. Now guys, this tool is amazing. You can create some really nice looking logos with it, just like all of the ones that you can see now on the screen. All of these logos have been created using this tool. I'd love to hear what logos you guys have been creating. So do let me know down in the comments. And also if you have any questions, again, let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There are loads of videos on this channel that are designed to help you up your website design game and your business. So go and check those out. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and also it helps the YouTube algorithm in getting other people to find my content. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of future releases. And that's it for now guys, have fun creating your logos and I'll see you in the next one.